Hey there guys, we're taking a look at Control running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5500U. Now the game is currently running at 1080p with the lowest in-game graphics settings. Pretty much everything was turned down or turned off. Even if you go with the low preset, it actually doesn't lower everything to the max because it still has SSAO on and stuff like that. And SSAO can be pretty demanding on things like APUs. If you're just on a normal graphics card, it's really not going to be that demanding. But on an APU, you really want to squeeze out as much performance as possible. Possible. Now this is of course running at the stock 15 watt TDP and we are on the 22.7.1 beta drivers. Now these are supposed to have improvements to DirectX 11 which is what this game actually runs on. Now I don't have any numbers from the drivers before this so I can't really tell you whether or not it has actually improved the performance here but you can see the level of performance that we're getting here at 1080p and it's pretty brutal. The 1% lows are pretty close to the averages though so it isn't as bad of an experience as you would think. Think, especially since I was playing with a controller but at 23 FPS average with 1% lows down to 18 isn't going to be a smooth experience even in the best of cases so what we can try to do is actually raise the TDP here and it seems like it might be necessary because if you look at the GPU clocks they're not exactly maxing out here so when we go with the 25 watt TDP you can see here that it does indeed actually help us boost the GPU clocks but overall we are not seeing any real notice gains in terms of performance the one percent lows still are going below 20 a lot of the time though it does end up recovering up into the lower 20s at some point but in general it really struggles to keep anything remotely reasonable unless you work at ubisoft and then you consider this to be the most cinematic gaming experience possible but in general it's still not going to be very doable with the controller it was a bit more playable but would i continue to play like this no not really so really disappointing results overall for the 25 watt TDP. I was really hoping to see a bigger boost in the 1% lows and averages. If we could have gotten closer to 30, we could have had something going here, but in general, that's just not the case here. So you're probably better off going with a lower resolution, but of course we can hop over to the 30 watt TDP to see if that can actually boost us to anything meaningful. And you can see that with the 30 watt TDP, we get close to a 30 FPS average, though we're still 3 FPS. FPS shy of that and the 1% lows are now above 20 most of the time almost completely all of the time but not by a significant margin again the 1% lows are very close to the averages overall and you'll see if you look the GPU is actually at its maximum clock speed and it's fully utilized really at this point the CPU is kind of just reaching max clock speeds a lot of the time because the game itself isn't very CPU demanding in a lot of scenarios there will be moments where it will spike up in terms of use usage and that will affect the performance but really at this point we are just gpu limited which is why you'll see that the power usage isn't even going all the way up to 30 because the system doesn't really need any more power the gpu is at maximum speed and the game isn't multi-threaded enough to take advantage of all six cores and 12 threads anyway so we're pretty much limited in that fact as well so it seems like at least on these settings the 30 watt tdp is just not necessary because you are limited by the gpu but of course we can drive the resolution down at this point one problem though is that the game itself actually does not let you set 900p in the in-game menu i think if you adjust some ini files you can get 900p but i think that that's an unreasonable way to go about it because most people are not going to do that if it's not an option in the menu most people are just not going to do it so i don't really feel like changing that and just showing you that because then i'm going to get a lot of questions from people just being like how do i set it to 900p and i don't really want to just point you towards just messing with games files if you're not comfortable with that kind of thing. So the in-game menu at least lets us set it to 720p and as you can see here the level of performance that we get at 720p is significantly better than where we were at at 1080p where at the stock 15 watt TDP we're actually able to get a very playable gaming experience here with 1% lows that are slightly above 30 most of the time sometimes there will be fluctuations where it will drop below that but those moments will usually be when you're just loading into a different area but in general the overall experience is actually really nice to play like this so it seems like if you really want to play this game you can go with 720p and in general the game looks fine enough it isn't looking amazing but in general you could get away with playing like this depending on how much you really want to play the game being a single player game having high levels of performance or having really high visuals isn't really going to be necessary you can get 
most of the experience of playing this perfectly fine like this. Really, in general, I don't think you're going to end up missing out on almost anything. Though I do understand people that like to play single player games at the highest possible visual quality, but in general, it's not necessary if you really want to play this game. And I would imagine probably a lot of you have this game because of the fact that Epic Games pretty much gave it away for free. So it's something to keep in mind if you're interested in actually playing this, that you're going to have to go down to 720p to actually get it to be usable. But where it really starts to fall apart for the 15 watt TDP and where the 25 watt TDP actually starts to shine is in areas where you're going to be doing combat. For story based stuff, you know, when you're doing cutscenes and stuff like that, the 15 watts will be perfectly fine. But it's when you enter combat areas like this that the performance can start to drag down and the 25 watt TDP is able to keep up a bit more. You'll see here that the 1% lows that we're seeing in this area are worse than where we were at with the 15 watt TDP. But in general, we're we're able to at least keep a consistent experience where the 15 watt TDP in this area actually ended up dragging down. It's not a significant gain overall in terms of performance though. So if you're on a system that can't run at, at anything above a 15 watt TDP, you're at least gonna be able to play the game somewhat, but those drops in 1% lows that are going down into the mid twenties is really going to be rough. And that's where the 30 watt TDP might be able to salvage things, but at the 25 watt TDP, you're at least going to be at a range where you're going to keep 1% lows for the most part at a reasonable range. It's certainly not going to be the perfect experience, but it is at least doable. And you'll see here that at the 30 watt TDP, we actually end up getting a very, very similar overall experience to what we were seeing with the 25 watt TDP. So it's another situation where we're at this point pretty much just GPU limited and there's very little we can do at this point. The in-game settings actually don't even let us go any lower than this resolution. So if we wanted anything actually lower, we would pretty much just have to mess with in-game files. And again, it's a situation where it's just going to be unreasonable for the average person, similar to 900p. Most people are not going to go down that low. So if you're someone that is very desperate to play this, then I would suggest maybe looking into that if you really just want to murder the visuals. But I, at that point, I don't know why you would want to play this game because part of it's a P is that it has a really nice aesthetic. I think 720p retains enough of it that you can get away with it. But if you're playing at something like 540p, it just starts to get into territory where I feel like you're better off probably just waiting until you have a better system than this. But in general, I would suggest go with 720p and go with the highest possible TDP that you can go with because it is going to improve the overall experience. If you're stuck at the 15 watt TDP in this area, you are going to be going down into the mid 20s for the 1% lows. But in a lot of the areas outside of the combat where you're just roaming around exploring listening to the different audio logs going into the cutscenes and stuff like that the 15 watt tdp is perfectly fine because a lot of the game is going through these areas and corridors where you're just exploring things and the 15 watt tdp handles all of that perfectly fine so pretty much in conclusion i would definitely recommend playing the game at 720p if you really want to play it but if you cannot raise your tdp maybe hold out until you can get a better system later down the the line. If you already got the game from the Epic Game Store and all of that, when it was being given given away for free, just hold on to it. You don't need to play it now. You can play it whenever. You can play it years from now. It doesn't matter. It's a single player game. You're not missing out on anything from just waiting. But of course, it, it is all personal preference. So go with whatever makes you happy there. But this is just my suggestion. I would say that if you're stuck at the stock 15 watt TDP, maybe wait it out. Just in general, because I feel like the combat might get annoying because of those 1% low drops. But anyways, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to subscribe and leave down in the description, or not in the description, but in the comments, any other game suggestions, because at this point, I'm kind of just wondering what you guys want to see. But anyways, I will see you guys next time.